Hi there, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. But first, you have to join up so you can have access to the VIP Club section, which I'm showing you right here. It has all the wonderful tools you will need to help make your picks more successfully. So we're at week six of the NFL season. There are still a few teams undefeated. We're going to take a look at one of them today, the Pittsburgh Steelers. But let's take a look at some of the other games we have in store for the week. So we'll scroll down through here. The first one is the Atlanta Falcons and the Minnesota Vikings. The Falcons and Vikings are both dead stats. It's kind of hard to believe, but they are a combined 1-9 and nine for the season. You can see the Vikings have a 1.55 to 2.47 uh, favorite in the odds and with an over-under of 54.5. Look at the head-to-head -head matchup you see last season. The Vikings won convincingly by 16 points as a home favorite. On the power ranking indicator, you can see here that Minnesota in the black line here, they were all the way down to zero, and they have climbed up a little bit to plus six. The Falcons were as high as plus 16 at the beginning of uh, early in the season, and now they have dropped and they have stayed steady at plus five over the last week. If you're considering the over and under, you can see that Atlanta, the, green, uh, the black line compared to the blue line, it is over, so they're playing in games trending over the line as is Minnesota. So betting the over is a wise choice on this one. How stable are the two teams? We take a look at the volatility oscillator. And you can see that both teams have been stable here at uh, looks like plus three right now, at plus three for both teams, which means they are pretty well performing consistently according to their favorite underdog status. Let's take a look here at the line reversal. If you go down through here, and they're actually not showing the line reversal here on this one yet for this game, but there will be some some of that for the other games. It's showing you how the line has changed from one week to the next, or over the course of the week. So overall, I think that what's going to happen in this one is that the Vikings will win this, keep the Falcons winless, but it will be a lot closer game than last season. It won't be two touchdowns, maybe by a touchdown. Lost uh, Baltimore at Philadelphia. We're not taking a look at that one today. The Chicago Bears at the Carolina Panthers. Now, this is going to be a good one as well. The Panthers are in a three-way tie for first in the NFC South. The Bears are a half game back in the NFC North. As you can see, both teams are entering burning hot status, with the Panthers having 1.67 to 2.25 advantage in the odds, with an over-under of 44.5. Look at the head-to-head -head matchups. The two teams have not played in a regular season game since 2017. So that does not really play into the pick for this week. The power rankings indicator shows that the Panthers are on their way up to plus 16. And the Bears dropped down after last week's so loss from 26 to 19. If you're considering the over and under in this one, you can see that the Bears are playing in games trending over the line. And the Panthers trending in games considerably more over the line than the Bears. So I think betting the, the over is a pretty smart choice in this one. How stable have the two teams been so far? Take a look at this. The Panthers have not been very stable. They are under zero. You don't want to be under zero. If you're under zero, you're not being very consistent. So take their favorite underdog status with a little bit of caution. So how do I feel about the overall flow of the game? I think that the Bears will probably find a way to win this one on the road. I know they're the road fair underdog, but I just have a feeling that they're going to take this one and possibly with a field goal late in the game. Should be a very entertaining game. The Cleveland Browns and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now these two teams are battling it out in the AFC North. The Steelers are 4-0. The Browns are 4-1. Both teams are burning hot. You see the Steelers have a 1.51 to 2.59 uh, favorite in this one. And what happened with that? Let's go back down to the game. Sorry about that. Okay. And the over-under is 51.5. So let's take a look here at what they did head-to-head -head for last season. You see that last season, the Steelers... Won at home by 20 to 13. The Browns won at home 21 to 7. Both as actually no, the Browns were the favorite, a road favorite, 
and the Steelers won, and the Browns were a home favorite. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see both teams are on the rise. Not surprising considering their record for the season. Steelers at plus 21. The Browns at plus 26. Or actually, that's the other way around, excuse me. The Steelers here at plus 26 in the flat, and the Browns here at plus 21. Considering the over and under, look at this. The Browns way above the line in their games. And the Steelers are trending a little bit below the line. You might want to go over because of how far over the Browns have been, but I would probably avoid the over-under since the teams are on opposite sides of the line. How stable are the two teams? Both are quite stable, particularly the Steelers at four compared to two for the Browns, which means that the Steelers are very, very consistently performing according to their favorite underdog status. Take that into consideration when picking the game. And if you want to look at the how the line has moved, let's take a look here. We haven't done that yet for any of the games yet, but I'm going to look at this one here. So you see the line opened here at 1.51. And you can see here over the week, it has remained steady, steady. Then it went up. Then there's a lot of movement over the last, you know, short period of time here. But look where it is. It's back to 1.51. So right back where it started from. So what do we think is going to happen in this one? I just have a feeling in this one that we are going to see the Steelers continue to roll. The Browns have been playing well, but it won't be well enough. So the Steelers will win to improve to 5-0. Detroit Lions and the Jacksonville Jaguars. You see that both teams are not performing well. The Lions enter in 1 and 3 with a dead status. Jacksonville is 1 and 4. They have lost their last four and they are ice cold down. The Lions are a considerable road favorite at 1.51 to 2.59 with an over under of 54.5. Look at the power ranking indicator, which we always like to do. You can see Jacksonville is trending downward and they are at plus 3. Detroit is trending upward a little bit. They are at plus 8. If you're considering the over and under, which we always do, uh, slightly over the line for the Lions in their games as of late, and the Jaguars also over. So I think despite not two teams not playing well, it should be a high-scoring, entertaining game, so bet the over. Look at the volatility oscillator. Are the two teams stable? Eh, not so much. Right in the middle at zero. So consider the favorite underdog status, but don't put too much status onto it. Making your bets. Let's look at the line, see if there has been any movement on the lines. So you can see where the opening it was here at 1.51. And what's happening? Again, look, a lot of movement here, but then back to where it is now, current. Same place as where we start. So that, that bunch of movement here in this time period here. Hasn't really meant much as it has come right back to where it was at the start. So what do we think as far as betting on this one? I'm thinking that Detroit will probably take the win on the road. Jacksonville has just been brutal, really, losing their last four. So I think Detroit will win and probably by a full touchdown. Pull that through here. and we take a look at the game. And this is the last one we're going to look at for today. The New York Jets and the Miami Dolphins. The Jets are probably the worst team in the NFL. It's coming in at 0-5. And and they have been outscored by 86 points. You can see their dead status. And Miami is 2-3, and three, looking for their first win at home. And they have a considerable advantage here. Look at the odds. 1.3 to 3.660. Not a big surprise when you take a look at what's been going on this season. But let's look at the head-to-head -head matchups. If you look last year, well, the two teams split. The Jets winning by one, the Dolphins winning by eight, both at home. Considering the, the over and under, you see the Jets playing in games trending under the line. Dolphins playing in games trending over the line. So that's a good indication not to bet the over and under on this one. Power rankings indicator, not a surprise here. The Jets all the way near the bottom, just at plus two. The Dolphins, not much better, but they are at plus nine. The Jets had been the, one of the most consistent teams in the league. You see here at plus four, but the problem is it's been consistently bad, consistently losing as underdogs. 
and expect that to happen again here. So let's take a look. One more thing here. Uh, let's see what they have done over the last 10 games. Not that it has a whole lot to do with it, but you can see what's going on in the last 10. The Jets have not fared well, as pretty much expected, since they haven't lost their last five. Their five games so far this season. So how is this all going to play out? Well, it really doesn't look like it'll be much of a contest. The Dolphins will win this one. The hand their Jets are sick for loss. And this real game really won't be very close. Okay, so there you have it. Those are our picks for the week. Uh, hope you enjoy. Remember to join if you're not if you haven't already joined, and you'll have access to everything that I've shown you right here. So have a great week, and we will see you next time.